didn't fix it yet. Welcome to the City Council meeting for September 23rd, 2013. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. President. I mean. Actually, Council Sullivan, before we start tonight, I'd like to take a moment of uh, silence. Uh, we buried today a uh, former chairman of the board of the Brockton Housing Authority, a longtime servant and school teacher in the, of the children in the city, uh, Paul Burns. I'd like to have a moment of silence for Mr. Burns. Thank you. Councilor Sullivan. President, I'd like to take collectively agenda items number one and number two. I'd also like to take them under suspension of the rules on second. that tonight. Thank you. Motion is made and seconded to act on items number one and two collectively and under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is approved. Mr. Clerk, would you read items one and two, please? The appointment of Roger J. Dwyer to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. The appointment of Paul F. Linscott to the rank of fire captain in the Brockton Fire Department. Questions on adoption? Uh, approval of the appointments. Would the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dinopoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Edary. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studensky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten members present, all voting in the affirmative. The, uh, the appointments are approved. Uh, would the uh, would Mr. Dwyer and Mr. Lynn Scott, are they here this evening? Or are they working? Could they step forward? And thank you very much. Mr. President. Council Studensky. I might have liked to move for reconsideration in hopes that it does not prevail. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Uh, we'll take a brief recess.
We're back in session. Councillor Brophy. Uh, Mr. President, I move that uh, item number three be, be moved to the end of the agenda. Second. Second. Motion made and second and take item three at the end of the agenda. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. Item number four. A report of the Audience Committee for its meeting of September 9, 2013. Accepted and placed on file. The Finance Committee for its meeting of September 18, 2013. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from beneficiary provisions from Vivian Gay and Raylene Vargat on Council and Aging. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Fire Chief requesting the City Council accept and expend a grant in the amount of $500 from Spectra Energy Foundation. This is a non matching grant with no cost to the City. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on <coughs> file. Communication from the Director of Community and Social Services requesting that the City Council accept an additional $60,970 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative for support through September for the programs. Accepted and placed on <coughs> file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. And from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Superintendent of Parks requesting that the Council accept a don donation of a memorial bench for the DW Field Golf Course. This request was presented by the Club National on behalf of a deceased member. All costs associated with the memorial bench, including installation, would be incurred by the Club National. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have the appointment of Michael R. Dash Brockton as a trustee of the War Memorial Building, City of Brockton for a term of three years and in August 2016. In Council August 28th, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Panacle. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is confirmed. Appointment of Monica Vaz Tavares, 573 North Mount Teller Street, as a member of the Brockton Cultural Council for a three year term ending August 2016. In Council August 26, read and refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Denaphilus. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is confirmed. The appointment of Sandra J. Proctor to the Housing Authority Board of Commissioners for a term of five years ending 2018. Ready to refer to the Council on Finance, Committee on Finance. Uh, the report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is Mr. approved. President. Uh, Councilor Stadinsky. I'd like to move on uh, number 18 uh, for uh, reconsideration. A, a motion for reconsideration in hopes that it does not second. prevail. Second. Motion is made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Reappointment of Paul Sullivan. Mr. President, I'd like to take uh, number 19 and 21 collectively. Second. Second. Motion made and take items 19 and 21 collectively. All those in favor? Opposed? 19, would the clerk please call number 19 and 21? The reappointment of Paul Sullivan to the Brockton License Commission for a term of three years ending August 2016. The reappointment of Paul Sullivan, Brockton to the Planning Board for a term of five years ending August 2018. In Council, August 26, 2013. Ready to refer the Standing Committee on Finance. Those reports are favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. All those in favor, uh, excuse me, would the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. The order is confirmed. Reappointment. Uh, move for reconsideration on uh, items 19 and 21. Hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. second. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration on 19, items 19 and 21 in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Reappointment of William E. Sharnick. 
Blair Ham as a constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years and council August 26, 2013. Ready to refer to standing committee on finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Michelle. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Kudinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is uh, confirmed. An appropriation of $315,586 from the Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security 911 Department Grant to the City of Brockton Police Department Regional Emergency Communications Center Support and Initiative Grant Fund. End Council, August 26, 2013. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine the, the order is adopted. An appropriation of $22,030 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency Performance Grant Program to the Brockton Emergency Management Agency. In Council, August 26, 2013. Ready to refer to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $45,000 from the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Massachusetts Department of Mental Health, Police Base Jail Diversion Grant for fiscal 2014 to the City of Brockton Police Department Jail Diversion Grant Fund. In Council, August 26, 2013. Ready and referred to Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $3,596,000 from the Stabilization Fund the Fire Department Personal Services Auditors and Overtime, Fire Department Overtime, in order to fund the proposed fiscal 14 cost of a separate contract settlement with the same unions for the period of fiscal 14, 15, 16. In Council, August 26, 2013. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. No. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative, one in the negative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $125,000 from the Massasoit Community College Grant for Design Services for Intersection Improvements to DPW Project Fund <laughs> in Council, August 26, 2013. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. <laughs> Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Transfer of $8,250 from Pocket Meter Reserve Fees to Parking Authority Purchase of Services. In Council, August 26, 2013. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. 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 Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Order that the City Council accept and expend a donation in the amount of $4,850 for National Grid for a school communication <clears throat> project. The money will be used for radio equipment upgrade at two of the middle schools. End Council, August 26, 2013. Ready for the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Mr. President. Councilor Petty. Uh, at this time, I'd like to make a motion for reconsideration on item number 25 with hopes that it does not prevail. Second. Second. 
Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration? All those opposed? Reconsideration fails. Order that the DPW was authorized to issue sewer connection to the property located at Plot 33 North Cary Street, Book 43-439, and page 339 Brockton. <clears throat> Excuse me. The property is currently owned by Gary Larsowitz Trust. In Council, August 26, 2013, reading for the Standing Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brokey. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Why? Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Hey. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Mr. President. Councilor Dubois. I'd like to make a motion for reconsideration in the hope that it will not prevail. <coughs> Megan. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it will not does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Resolved that the representatives of National Grid be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss emergency preparedness. In council, August 26, 2013, referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mm. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Resolved that the mayor, the library director, the chairman of the board of library trustees, the superintendent of buildings, and the chairman of the library foundation be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide information on planned improvements to the West Branch Library. In council, August 26, 2013, referred to the committee on finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Annery. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Petty. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Resolved that the mayor, building commissioner, and a representative from National Grid come before the Finance Committee to discuss and outline the installation process and to explain the reasons for the significant timing delay pertaining to the air quality monitoring system to be located at the Buckley play Playground outside the Gilmore School located within the city. In Council, August 26, 2013, referred the Committee on Finance, their report is favorable. Councilor Sullivan. Mr. President and colleagues, as you know, this is my resolve, and I'd like to publicly thank the mayor's office, specifically Chief of Staff Mike Mullen. He emailed us a status update like he said he would last week, and uh, I'm happy to say that Councilor Stadinsky's ward, uh, ward 4, is, is being uh, monitored as we speak right now. The air quality system is in place, and the online results can be uh, checked. So I do want to thank Mr. Mullen and Mayor Belzotti. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Will clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27, zoning of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map on the southerly side of Field Street, easterly of North Main Street, more particularly described as plots 109 and 110 Field Street. Refer to ordinance. Order that the DPW. Uh, Mr. DEP. President. Council Dubois. Uh, I, I'm very sorry for inter interrupting you, uh, Mr. Clerk. On number 33, I would like to um, suspend the rules and act on this e this evening if I can. Second. Uh, can I not do that, Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Attorney? I believe because it's an ordinance change, it has to go to the ordinance committee. It's a, it's a zoning change. Zoning, zoning, zoning change. I'm sorry, zoning change. It should also go to the planning, planning committee. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's also referred to. I withdraw to my motion. That's also referred to the planning board. Order that the DEP is authorized to issue an out-of-town single-family sewer connection to the property located at 351 North Quincy Street in Abington, once all surveys and maps are submitted by the applicant. Refer to finance. Order that the DEP is authorized to issue a single-family home sewer connection to the property located at 12 Wellsford Street. Mr. Re President, I'd Not like to make well. a motion to uh, take this under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening, if I might. Second. Motion made and seconded to take item number <clears throat> 35 under suspension of the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? So moved. 
Uh, question now comes on uh, roll, adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 The order is adopted. Mr. Council President, Dubois. I'd like to make a motion to for reconsideration in the hope that it does not second. prevail. Thank you. Motion made and seconded for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Ordered that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of the donation of a memorial bench for the D.W. Field Golf Course. This request was presented by the Club National on behalf of a deceased member. All costs associated with the memorial bench, including installation, will be incurred by the Club National. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $500 from Spectra Energy Foundation, the City of Brockton Fire Department, Spectra Energy Foundation Grant Fund. A refer to finance. Appropriation of $60,970 from Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Health and Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to Office of the Mayor Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant Fund. Councilor Brophy. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I move at this time uh, to suspend the rules in order to act upon this appropriation in one Second. meeting. Second. And also move uh, to allow Corin Capiello from the Mayor's Office to speak on this if any councillors have any questions. Motion made and seconded to act on this this evening and under one reading. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is approved. Councillors, uh, if you do have any questions, uh, Corin is here and you may remain seated while uh, Councillor Brophy. Ms. Capiello, could you? Uh, thank you. Good evening, Council. Just, good evening, how are you? Good, how are you? If you could give us a brief overview of the grant and what you plan yep. to do with it. So this it. is a safe and successful youth initiative that I came for a few months ago. The money ran out, uh, so the state has given us money just through September um, just to hold us over. They did a site visit. Uh, they'll be evaluating the program and then giving us funding October through December. So this funding supports our 90 Main Street location, street outreach, those services for the proven risk youth, those likely to be victims or perpetrators of gun violence, males age 14 to 24. How is the program uh, working at this point? Uh, it's working as well as it can. Obviously, you know, we discussed this last time. This is a very difficult population, um, but I think we're doing really great work. Um, our staff is really, really hardworking and passionate, um, and um, we're getting good response from um, our clients. So. And how many clients? Um, we have about 25 to 30 actively engaged in our program at 90 Main Street, and then we have a lot more that are engaged with street outreach. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. President. Any other questions? Question comes on adoption by a roll. Uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry. Excellent. Uh, Ms. Capiello, can you tell me um, in terms of on the payroll for this grant, who's on the payroll? Is, are they the Brockton residents and are they living in the places where these kids are being, where the program hosts impact? All of our street outreach workers are Brockton residents. Um, a couple of other individuals are not Brockton residents, but our street outreach workers are all Brockton residents. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Right. Thank you, Council. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Brophy. Yes. Approved. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Money. Yes. Penny. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Zedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy Turman. Uh, the order is adopted. Council yep. Brophy. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for reconsideration. The hopes second. Is second. Yeah. Motion be made and seconded for reconsideration. <laughs> does not prevail. All those in favor of reconsideration. All those opposed. Reconsideration fails. Uh, we now will go back to the hearing. Number, item number three. We have the petition of Victor Tixera, DBA, Five Stars Auto Body, for motor vehicle repair, mechanical, and body license, located at 347 North Montello Street, in City Clerk's Office, December 31st, 2012, hearing is signed for September 23rd, 2013, at 8 p.m. We have a letter on file from the Brockton Fire Department with uh, no objections. Thank you. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Step forward, please give the clerk, clerk your name. Victor Tixero. Uh, Councillor Dubois. 
I have stipulations. Uh, I thought that they waited until after the hearing. Actually, if you could read them, then we'll make the motion afterwards, but I know the council steward is going to ask some questions about them. <laughs> so. I'm happy to do that. So the, um, is that or stand? Uh, you can, can you sit. Can sit. Okay. It's a public okay. hearing. So, uh, Mr. Texiera, you're familiar with these stipulations as they were on um, the business that was um, owned by the previous uh, gentleman. Um, I'm going to read them now, and they're right off of the um, 2012 license from this property. So, the license is granted subject to the provisions contained two, 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 restrictions. Hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 7 a, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 to, what'd you say, one o'clock? It was one, yeah. To one, one p.m., no Sunday hours. Number two, the maximum number of vehicles associated with this business to be on the premises during the day will be 30, including employee and customer vehicles, as well as vehicles in need of repair and any vehicle related to accessory businesses associated with the license. Three, the maximum number of vehicles to be stored ov outside overnight is seven. These vehicles will be stored in two rows of eight cars facing north to south, beginning at the west border and heading to the east. Any severely damaged vehicles are not to be parked in the first or second rows closest to North Montello Street. This includes all vehicles associated with any business operated by the license holder on this property, including any business such as used car sales. Four, no outside storage of auto parts or byproducts such as oil, grease, gasoline, etc. overnight. Five, no outside coin operating machines, including payphones and vending machines. Six, the property shall be kept clean and neat and free of debris at all times. Seven, no painting, priming, or bonding until such time as the property proper equipment has been installed and improved by the Brockton Fire Department. Eight, no barbed wire on the north, south, or west sides uh, fence on the building uh, property. The wooden stockade fence on the north side of the property, which abuts a residential use, shall be kept in good condition. Cars lined up on the north side of the property shall be at least three feet from the north fence. A planting area, which has already been installed, shall be maintained along the fence on the west and north sides of the property. The parking lot shall remain lined. Overnight storage shall be kept to no more than seven cars, or we already have that. Handicap parking shall be established per city ordinance. The dumpster enclosure shall be approved by the Board of Health. The license will have, nope, that isn't part of that. And that is it. Wow, that's all. That's good. Those are my stipulations. They were on the last property. We had a lot of problems with this property. It's right on North um, Montello Street. And after having multiple, I think, congenial meetings with the previous property owner, myself, and Lieutenant Williams, and uh, Scott Ullman, we were able to come up with these um, stipulations, which I think are reasonable. Um, this property is right next to a single family home. And uh, previous to uh, Mr. Texeria taking the property, when it was first, um, when I first came, became aware of it, a lot of the more damaged cars were being stored closest to North Montello Street, and it looked like a dump. So they agreed to make sure that the more damaged cars were stored further away from the um, North Montello Street, so when people are driving by, they don't have to look at it. And they also agreed to remove barbed wire that was literally uh, one foot off of someone's bedroom window and so these these stipulations have been agreed to uh, prior to Mr. Texiera um, taking possession of the license do you do you have a problem with any of these stipulations Mr. Texiera no thank you very much thank you Mr. Chairman thank you any other questions uh, Councilor Mr. President uh, Mr. Texiera just to confirm so you understand the restrictions um, and you're certain that you can um, uphold those restrictions right Yes, or, I, uh, yes, I can. That or agree forward. to them, abide yeah. by them. Excellent. I say this often when um, someone comes before us for a license because I end up getting phone calls later when the license is <coughs> suspended because I know that small business owners typically mortgage their home or some other savings to keep their small businesses in place. And when your license is suspended, you, you lose a lot more than just the business, but your home right. and kids are impacted and things like that. So I just want to make it make certain that you're clear that we have a strong code enforcement team mm -hmm. um, and 
it's your obligation to adhere to what's in the license. Yes, I do. Okay, very cool. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. The question is on granting the license as stipulated. All those in favor? Opposed? The license is granted. Okay. okay. You're all set. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Councillor Dubois. Thank you. I um, actually have a late file to submit. If I could get a second on the late second. file, it's second. Thank Motion you. made and seconded to uh, for a late file uh, in the hands of the clerk, Miss uh, Miss Clerk. Would you, uh, excuse me. All those in favor? Can we have it read for us? Opposed. Have the, what is the late file? If I the clerk, it's in the clerk's hands. He's going to read the late file now. Okay. Mr. Clerk. Letter that the DPW was authorized to allow the development re reference of 695 North Main Street to connect to the City of Brockton's sewer system. Refer to finance. Oh, Mr. Council Dubois. Okay, this might be a tough one, but I would like to move to take this under suspension of the rules and act on it this evening. This is um, a property at the corner of North Main and Ames Street, which would not be here but uh, for Ward 6 sewer moratorium, and the interceptor in that area doesn't back up. So I don't think that uh, hooking this property up to the sewer is going to cause any backflow issues. We have some major interceptor issues still on Ward 6 that need to be fixed, but this doesn't affect them. There are going to be 24 single-person occupancy rooms in one building, and then there are going to be um, a townhouse with two homes uh, that are going to be designated for low-income families. And uh, the whole project is going to be um, managed by Father Bill's and Mainspring House. And Mr. Yaswinski is here tonight if we would like to, if the council would allow him to speak and explain it. Or um, we can take it under the dispense of the rules if I could get a second. Second. Thank you. Motion on the motion. On the motion, Councilor Brophy. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, this is a significant development uh, in Wood 6. Uh, and uh, I'm uncomfortable with acting upon this tonight. I, I would like to have the DPW commissioner here, uh, as well as the proponents, and have a, a thorough vetting of this, uh, of this particular issue. Uh, I'd ask that councils vote against the motion uh, to suspend the rules to act this. Uh, actually, I, I, I would ask the motion be with, uh, withdrawn. Otherwise, I will object uh, pursuant to the rules uh, unanimous uh, consent is required, uh, and I will object if the motion is not withdrawn. I'll withdraw my motion. Motion is withdrawn. Refer, refer to finance. Any other items before us? Mr. President. <coughs> Councilor uh, Sullivan. This point of information to the council, myself and Ward 2 Councilor Tom Monahan, we're going to be filing a resolve uh, asking the DPW commissioner and the outside electrical company that's servicing the streetlights in the city of Brockton to come before the council as a fin finance committee to give us a status update relative to the repairs, replacements, and the install process. We're getting a lot of complaints citywide from the residents in terms of timing, and I think we should have the appropriate parties. So if any of uh, my colleagues want to sign on with Mr. Monahan, we, uh, we welcome that. Thank you. Thank you, council. Any other items? We're adjourned. <laughs>